If you have been searching for a keyless locking mechanism, then Russo's L50 electronic lock is exactly what you need. In this video, you will see five aspects of the locking mechanism. First of all, we look at its distinctive features and many advantages. Then, various ways it can be used. Thirdly, we give an overview of how it works. We will also show how to create basic access codes. And finally, we give a brief demonstration of how to install the locking mechanism on an existing cabinet. So, let's take a look at some of the benefits that an L50 lock can offer you. First of all, no keys to lose or forget, and no need to create duplicates for other users. No more keys. This gives you quick access to the contents of your drawers, to open them, and to lock them. Okay. Let's look at some of the features of the electronic lock that will simplify your life. When your cabinet is unlocked, you will see a red visual indicator. The symbols are clear and easily understood by all. If you entered an incorrect code, you have to press the clear button and start again. Codes chosen can be either numeric, alphabetic, or a combination of the two. Flashing lights will indicate whether a correct or incorrect code has been entered. Another light warns you in advance if the batteries need to be replaced. You can also enter up to 20 different user codes, including a supervisor code. Here are the product numbers for ordering a lock for an RA30 and RA35. And here are the product numbers for ordering a lock for an LA30 compact cabinet. So, let's take a look at some typical uses for the L50 lock. You can limit access to just a single user for the cabinet, or several cabinets with the same code. Here is a scenario where one or several users have access with a common code, while a supervisor manages everything with a separate code. Alternatively, you can create up to 18 additional access codes. The system is interesting because you only have to modify one code when an employee changes position. Now, let's look at how easy it is to use the L50 lock. To unlock, enter the code, confirm by pressing enter, and then turn the knob. To lock, simply turn the knob to its initial position. That's it! Now you can start creating your own access code. Before entering programming mode, always make sure your L50 is locked. Now let's change the temporary user code. Enter your temporary supervisor code, 12345. Once the lock is unlocked, press enter for 3 seconds, and the yellow battery symbol will light up. Now press 1, and then enter. Enter the temporary user code, 1234, and then press the green button. Enter the new user code you have chosen. You must choose a code between four and eight characters. We will use 1111 for demonstrational purposes. Re-enter the code to confirm, then enter. Now you have to change the supervisor code. Press two, then the green button. Enter your temporary supervisor code 12345 and then press enter. You can now create your new supervisor code. It must be between four and eight characters. We will use 55555 for demonstrational purposes. Please note, you must enter a different code from the first user code entered previously. Re-enter your code to confirm. To exit programming mode, press 9, then enter. Re-enter the code to confirm, and then enter. Once this is done, simply return the knob to the lock position. And there it is! The new L50 lock is now fully functional. If you want to create other codes for adding up to 18 additional users, please refer to the R2B manual for programming details. 
To conclude our video, here are the steps for installing an electronic lock on a Russo cabinet that is already equipped with a key lock mechanism. First, unlock the cabinet and take out the top drawer. Remove the pin and the retaining clip from the lock. Position the template as shown and drill. Then, make sure that your new L50 mechanism is unlocked before putting it in its place. Install it securely using the supplied screw, retaining clip, and white pin. Once the drawers have been put back in place, the contents are secure and accessible only by designated users. And there it is, an easy to use electronic lock.